Welcome to the next part in this uh, fairly short series. And uh, we'll just sort of continue. So in the last video, we talked about uh, the literary arts, right? And how uh, AI art uh, works there. At least we uh, talked about GPT-3 and, and uh, GPT-NEO. Uh, and so in this one, I, it's really going to be a very short video, just sort of giving you some links mainly to resources that describe neural networks. So some of this, the idea of diving into the neural net was covered actually in the first video, but this does so um, with a little bit more detail. So what does the word model mean uh, within, with regard to AI art? Uh, you, it refers to the neural network generally if we're talking about a deep model. Uh, deep because it's got multiple layers, uh, which is, you know, the idea of layer is synchronized with the idea of neural network. There are layers within the neural network. Um, in machine learning, we had talked about this, I think, on the, maybe the first video. The model is a data flow graph, or if you like, a data flow network of nodes. Uh, those nodes can be different things. At the very lowest level, those nodes are neurons. However, at higher levels, those nodes are functional blocks that take input and produce output. Uh, but in either case, uh, the model is a data flow model, right? It's one that is different than a control flow model, which you can, which is synonymous with most programming languages today with the exception of functional programming. Uh, and yeah, often multi-level, which is what I just mentioned. And so let's continue on. So this is a really nice introductory video on different sorts of architectures by, by Steve Brunton. And uh, YouTube video, highly recommend that you look at this if you're interested in going down the neural network model slash architecture route. Um, and so that would be something I, I recommend going for. Now, this is sort of, um, you know, drinking from a fire hose in terms of a mostly complete chart of neural networks. Now, notice this was in 2016. So this is a long time ago. You know, 2016 is like ancient history in machine learning. Um, even, you know, ancient history is sometimes, you know, a year ago, uh, the way things are, are moving and progressing and evolving over time. But this is still a good poster because it gives you some things. Now, not, not all these architectures are going to be used for art. Some of them are going to be used for tasks like classification, um, prediction, regression, so other, other tasks that, that may not be something you're interested in with AI art, but uh, you know, it all begins with sort of the uh, McCullough Pitts neuron, which we talked about early, but then in the 1960s, the perceptron, very simple neural net architecture, which then became feed forward because we started adding hidden layers. In addition to having inputs, two inputs, and one output, like here, you've got two inputs, a layer of two neurons in the hidden layer, and then, of course, one output right here. Now, it depends what you're doing. I mean, some kind, in some cases, the output is going to be a tensor or a vector or something like that, and it's going to be, there's a lot of stuff coming out of here. Or it could be as simple as a, sing, a single value. So what I would do is just um, is, is sort of if you want to you know just Google this and you you'll find this this image and uh, take a look at it, kind of see what's around. There are some echoes of AI art in here, even though you know 2016 was sort of the the dawn with Deep Dream, uh, 2015 2016. You know Deep Dream was what kicked it all off right in terms of machine learning art. Um, however, recurrent neural networks are used for sequences and therefore those along with the LSTM architectures are appropriate for text. And so um, these have been used quite 
quite a lot. The transformer model is not in here. That came later and is what most people doing text com prompt completion are using. They're not using the RNN or the LSTM. Convolution network tends to be for images. Uh, that not, not, not completely, um, but for the most part, I would say image synthesis is where convolutional networks are still widely used. Here's a nice, um, more recent a view of different models, different architectures for neural networks. And this is kind of at a high level. And so we're not going to go over the details of what's going on inside of each box. Uh, but nevertheless, these, these diagrams give you an idea. And so I'll just mention this is the GAN architecture where there are two neural networks, discriminator and generator. And widely used, style GAN is the, you know, the term of the day uh, uh, created by NVIDIA. And the style GAN family of models is, um, is, is still widely used. The um, VAE is another, it involves an encoder and a decoder. Uh, you'll see conditional probability here, uh, which, you know, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't see up in the GAN. There are also flow-based models, which actually haven't really tried any of these, but I have been really hip on diffusion models. These came out mid-summer 2021, and really, really interesting art can be created from diffusion models, mostly images. However, those images can also be guided partially by CLIP, which is, if you recall, is an open AI technology which connects together text and image. And we, I, actually, I think I had this same figure early on just to say that, you know, the transform architecture, this is, you know, th this is the one used for um, text, okay, mainly. But transformer architectures can be used for vision and imaging. So I'm just sort of repeating it. I don't want to go over that again. Really great video by Gene Kogan here. Um, what convolutional neural, neural networks see? So here, you know, if you want to kind of diagnose or perhaps dissect a neural network, you want to see like what's going on. Really, it's not just enough to see the input and the output. You want to actually see what goes on in the neural network itself at the neuron level. What features are being learned um, and things like that. Very interesting, highly recommended video if you want kind of an informal description, um, which also has some formal elements, but of what neural net, uh, networks really are from the inside, from an anatomical perspective. And here's some other links which you can follow um, and, and see what's going on. This is for getting at the heart of um, visualizing neural networks.